Welcome to Hiranya Medical Service. Five minutes to a better health by our eminent doctors. At the outset, I would like to thank Hiranya Medical Services for organizing this talk. Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Tamil Selvi, Senior Consultant Obstetrician and Urogynecologist, practicing in Chennai. And today, I am going to be talking on preparing yourself for pregnancy. So, some of you might be thinking, should we actually prepare for pregnancy? Does it not actually happen on its own? Yes, it happens on its own. But it is better for you to prepare yourself so that your pregnancy starts with the optimal health for yourself. So, how do you prepare for the pregnancy? There are a few things you need to do. First, plan your pregnancy ahead. So, if it is January now, then you should take at least two months in advance. You should plan that you are going to try for a pregnancy. So, for January now, you should start trying for pregnancy from March. That is what your planning should be. Why? During those two months, if any interventions are needed, any tests are needed, they can be completed before you can start your pregnancy. So, during the three, two months, use some contraception. Even if you are newly married, try to use some contraception like condoms until you plan pregnancy. So, once you start, decide, okay, I am going to start planning for my pregnancy from March or April, then, then the next step is to make a list. What is the list? The list is to identify whether you have got any risk factors or medical problems. So, how to make that uh, list? First thing is, make a list of yourself, any period problem, menstruation either problem, and make a note of that. And second, do you have any medical problems, asthma, BP, uh, blood sugar, all that you will remember. But even small things like allergic uh, sinusitis, allergic uh, rhinitis, or illa migraine headache, persistent headache, in the marriage, in the machine, you will tend to forget. So all those things also you should make a note. And thirdly, find out from your parents or your other family members whether you've had any medical problems as a child which needed long-term medication. Long-term medication now when you've taken medication for more than three months. So long-term medication or you were in admitted in hospital for a long term for any problems. This you might not remember, your parents might not remember, but you should have to ask them specifically. Only then they will be able to tell you. And some cases... The parents might not want the children or the in-laws to know that if the child has had some febrile fits, they might not want the other family members to know. That is okay. You take the history and when you go and see a doctor, find a specific time where there is no one in the consulting room so that you can tell the doctor that this is the confidential information and I don't want it to be revealed and the doctor will keep it confidential but will make a note of it so that if necessary, they can give you some medication. So, doctor will tell you, mom will tell you, husband will tell you, if you tell them it's confidential, every doctor will maintain confidentiality. So, it is not a problem. So, secondly, once you made that history and the list report, ask your husband also to make a list. So, in the medical problem, family le edad problem tirukha, abhinari, genetic problems, previous children, edad family le edad children with family, uh, with the genetic problem tirukha, both side of the family, both you and your husband should make a list. So, in the list of kaila edukite, then you go and see a doctor. So, when you see a doctor, what are the things you should, uh, the doctor will do? The doctor will basically check your height and weight, make sure you are of the optimal height and weight. And also check your chest and the lungs and the heart. And there is no problem in the end of the clarity. They'll again take a full history. So after that, you should give all the information. And they will also organize a few basic blood tests based on the history. Sometimes blood sugars may be needed. Sometimes thyroid may be needed. Very rarely ultrasound may be needed if you have some period problem. So they will organize those tests accordingly. And most commonly... One of the tests the doctors will do is to check whether you are immune to certain viral infections. Immune na so pregnancy upon infection baruma barada under the check Why do we need to do that? 
because if we make sure that if you are immune to that particular viral infection, then we can safely say, okay, then there is no problem if you have uh, contact with that type of infection. If you are not immune, rubella and cello, if you are not immune, for so vaccination portal now, one month actually you can start trying for pregnancy. So basically the two month period frame is to ensure that if anything like that is needed, that can be done and then you can start planning for pregnancy. So after all this, the doctor will give you a prescription for folic acid. Folic acid is nothing but a multivitamin, which helps in the optimal brain development or the skull development of the baby. So it is one day normal amounts like Irunichana, the during the conception period, when the patient is actually trying to become pregnant and the early stages of pregnancy, like this folic acid should be in the good level. So, pregnancy even before you start your pregnancy, that this folic acid is given. And based on your dietary habits, the doctor might advise you what is the optimal healthy diet. So, healthy diet is not eating vegetarian, non-vegetarian food or vegetarian food alone. It's a Whatever is your normal diet and the pattern la, what is healthy for you will be explained to you. So, then you should actually plan for your pregnancy. So, the doctor might want some baseline investigations. So, anemia, thyroid, they'll ask you to come back and they'll start giving some tablets to get it under control and then ask you to plan for your pregnancy. So, this is the basic criteria before you plan your pregnancy. Very, very important. Always look at your social support system, your financial system before you plan for your pregnancy. Look at your pregnancy positively because you will be starting your pregnancy and probably will have only one or two pregnancies during your lifetime in this current scenario. So, enjoy your pregnancy. In the pregnancy, in the problem, in the problem, in the problem, Look at your pregnancy positively and if you plan your pregnancy and if you know you're starting with optimal health, then your outlook also will be positive. Good luck to everyone and thank you. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe and click the bell icon button to receive instant updates.